guys, welcome back to TSPEC TV and a brand new episode of Project Bob. Ta da! If you didn't see him, Bob is right behind us. Uh, got a supercharger on here, installed last time. Uh, what we need to do today is a bit more fine tuning, I guess you should call it. It's not really fine, it's just. It's nothing fine about nothing Bob. Nothing fine about Bob. Uh, but we need to get that belt a bit better aligned because right now it's rubbing on the house with the supercharger, so we need to get. The main wheel down here a bit further out, do that with some uh, spaces in between. Then we're gonna need to blank off the mechanical fuel pump down here, which you got this nice plate for, and I'm mounting that so we leak that fuel pump because I cannot deliver enough fuel for the huge uh, carburetor here. Uh, instead of that, we're gonna be putting a new fuel pump here, which can deliver a lot more fuel uh, running on battery and not the engine itself because we cannot get it to idle without a choke on. Uh, and the height is very, very uh, high, so that's going to be the main main theme of today, of doing. Uh, and hopefully in the end of the day we can get it to idle sort of without any choke on and not idling too high, like a million RPMs. Uh, so that is the plan for today. We've got the first one out of three and uh, what we need to do now is rotate the whole engine and for that we need some more power because the battery is dead. So we're just going to go and get some jumper cables and another battery and rotate the engine because we haven't got a crank or anything to do it. You know, wearing those glasses adds 10 points to your intelligence. Do I? Yes. Don't feel it. <laughs> but minus five to charisma. <laughs> <laughs> Anymore. Hooray! Hooray! We did something good. I don't do anything evil, bad. <laughs> but we fixed it. Alright, next job mechanical fuel pump. Need to go off. This is a mechanical fuel pump we just removed where it sits on the side of the engine like that. Inside and then in here we've got the, some kind of axle hitting it which then makes it suck fuel in from that line and push it out here. So, but now we've got that one off which means that we can pump fuel into the carburetor without the engine actually being turned over. So now we just need to put the blanking plate on change the fuel pump, put some uh, new fuel lines onto it and then we'll try and start some up and see what it says. It's a good thing when you put a new part on that gets kind of into the engine that you also not only clean the edges around it but you also clean underneath it. Because we've got quite a lot of oil everywhere so if you clean right beneath it you can see if that part is leaking letting oil onto the ground onto the other end of the part. So just clean right beneath it. So when you put it on and you drive it for some miles and have a look and that one's completely black, that means that the seal is not complete. Oh, it's got some kind of stuff in between the plate and the engine itself, so that's a nice little trick to do. Instead of getting a new filter, so we need to go all the way down to 
the city was like 15 minutes uh, away from here. Uh, we found out that this one has already got a filter inside of it, like tiny bit mesh filter, uh, which we can just twist that cap off, pull it out, clean the filter, put it back in. So we're just going to run it directly from this one onto there. And that should solve our problem. Hopefully. You know how really religious people say that dinosaur bones are put on the earth to test like people's faith or something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you think like, like this bolt is in our way but it has no purpose? So Land Rover designers or engineers put that there to test us. See if we will <laughs> remove it or not. Yeah. I can't like, to remove it, just... <laughs> With the new fuel pump in, all that was left to do was wire it up, connect the new braided hoses, and then move on to the final job of the day, adjusting the carburetor. What? I don't know if that's the So there we have it, another day and more bits and bobs. Ooh, that was actually completely accidental. Bits and bobs added and fixed to Project Bob. He's now going to get an oil change, which we're not going to bother filming because we did that in episode one. So if you want to go see that, check out episode one. Um, but yeah, oil change because he's got water in it or something. Yeah, we've got water in that probably. So just going to do a quick oil change, make sure there's fresh oil in it. And uh, as we got everything done today, got a new fuel pump got rid of the mechanical one, we got the belt adjusted, so now it just goes around its shift in the little triangle. And we got it running a bit better because we set the fuel level uh, on, uh, on what it should be. So now I'm just going to put some new fluids in it and probably drive it back in and we'll take them back out tomorrow to take them for a test drive and a bit revving around the woods. But still as mental as ever. Yeah. So, uh... That is it for this episode of Project Bob. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>